Please make sure you do the right thing and you subscribe. <laughs> if you don't know me, my name is Masako Pace, but I go by Messi. <laughs> so, in today's video, the aim of this vlog is first day at work, but I'm also doing a few errands in between, so we're doing that together. <laughs> this is my second day in the city. I'm chill, hands back. I don't know how I feel about that, but I went out to to explore to buy a few things and you know what I thought let me just unpack a few and show you guys what I got. Okay, then the first thing that I want to show you is this. I went to pack, so I couldn't find it home, so I took that in the home section and I got a few things. There's actually a lot of things and I paid only 182 right for all of this. So I was happy about that. Like Petro is definitely gonna be my best friend. It's really cheap, let me show you what I got. I got so a friend of mine saved me money <laughs> to buy champagne to celebrate the new house. So I think I wanna open the champagne after my first day of work. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I'm gonna try to order orange juice right now from check it from Pin Pay ASAP. If I can get it, then I might open today. But we'll see. But I need a wine glasses and I got this one. I actually hate this glasses. I got this champagne glasses. Ooh, I got this ones. I don't like them. The style is a bit old, but you know what? I converted them so I got these. smaller wine glass so i have a very huge wine glass so i thought you know what let me get myself a nice cheap one because now <laughs> so i can buy wine and put it in my fridge and drink it whenever i want <laughs> i'm not a fan of getting used to alcohol where i overuse it over drink it Whatever, but I don't want to be that. So it will be like a once in a while thing, but it looks so cute. Even juice, I want to drink it here. So this is only fifteen dollars ninety nine, and the champagne glasses was seventeen dollars ninety nine. And I also got foil. Um, I don't know what I do with this, but I feel like I'm gonna need it. So in case I need it, I have it. Cause it was only I think it was twelve dollars. It's not that bad. Like, ugh, I just take it. Then I got this cute setting so i have a lot of serums like skin serums skin products so instead of them being all over the place i'm gonna pack them nicely here and toners inside my wardrobe then i got magnolia oil which is great oh this was how much is this 21 by 99 very cheap then so i did an extra with quite for you my shower we start having shower shoes so it was not nice so i went to buy shower shoes simply because somebody was staying here somebody was using the shower um, i'm still here to do deep cleaning i was supposed to have done it by now but you know what i'm tired so i have shower shoes which were very cheap there's no price but i think it was not even 30 right? it was like 30 25 then I got the sponges because I want to scrub like the whole house with bleach. So I did. I'm going to add this one. Then I got a shower cap um, for 25 dollars pep. It's actually just such a cheap material. I don't know if I'm going to get another one or this is fine. Take a shot because I don't have the luxury of the money for it. But yeah. Then I got this cloth because I want to deep clean. This for cleaning is only 10 grand, so it works perfect. Yeah, that's it. Then I also went to Woolies. I actually struggled to get Woolies, yo. 
I think it's this one that made me pull jewelry because it's made of sweets. Because I was very determined to get this shampoo. This specific, I was very determined to get this specific champagne because I was trying ordering online. Woolworths keeps on telling me that I must put the, I don't know, the existing name. Like, basically, they're telling me that my name is not the right name. And, like, it does not make sense to me. So, I couldn't order it online. So, I had to go around, get Woolies food. And I got it. And I got it. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Any influence. Hey, man. Trying to give it a moment. I was in the Look how beautiful it is. Oh, I can't do it, boo. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. I'll see. I'll see what happens. I'm gonna open it after my first day at work, which is on Wednesday. Today is Monday. So, yeah, it'll be a celebration for that. I'm like, oh, you made it to the first day of work and got a new apartment. Yeah. <laughs> and I went to Mr. Price. So, my outfit for my day, first day of work includes a jean uh, because I won't be too much. Um, I'm gonna get the feeling of the place. So, yeah, I got. I got this belt. I forgot my belt at home. What if it is wrong size goes there? I forgot my belt at home, so I had to buy a belt. It was seven to nine and Mr. Price. Then I also got earrings at Mr. Price. I don't have everything. I also got food but yeah. That's everything. So this is everything I got from my exploring, my exploring of Johannesburg. So right now, let me go order from Pick and Pay ASAP because I need ASAP. Cause I need a few things. Um, if I want to eat, now I have like nothing that I want to eat. So I need to find things which are gonna help me to get food, have lunch. Um, I have food, but not uh, with. Cause even though I had to buy takeaway, I don't, I don't have money to buy takeaway every time. So I need to buy things that I can make and eat and maybe a few snacks, I don't know, but yeah, I'll see when I get that order from Pick and Pay so hopefully I get it right. My delivery is here. So the first time I get delivery in this place, I don't know how it works. Sounds good. I don't know if I'm gonna find the person on sticks. What? Let's go. I feel so defeated, that's why I really Don't be better than a shit like you made. 
day has finally arrived. So I almost went out of my without showing you. Oh my gosh! Already my English bundles is depleting, and I haven't started. I'm, I'm a bit. I'm ten minutes late than what I was. English is gone, yo, Jesus, I need you today. Let me guys show you my outfit. Let me start talking too much and say this English battle. All right? So, because it's my first day, I'm trying to give a feeling of things. I went a smart casual, although I'm very hesitant about this detailing here. And maybe you see this too much. I don't know. I'll see. But I'm just wearing a jean, basic jean, top belt and just a blazer to give me that formal feel um i'm wearing sandals ah, this is ah. <laughs> wearing sandals and my brown bag because it's the only big bag i have so yeah i had to make it work so let's go i'm scared like deep tone but just okay morena let's go and i'm back <laughs> it was such a interesting experience and interesting first day didn't really work um because it's my thing so it's still, it's still busy they couldn't give me any work so yeah but i just want to tell you guys about <laughs> being an overthinker and having anxiety it's not something that I'm proud of, it's not something that I wish if I don't. Um, but those things still joy, that they still you a moment of happiness from a point where you're supposed to be happy. I don't know. So, throughout, I kept on thinking this too good to be true. I keep on thinking, keep on thinking, okay what could go on like literally my mind kept on going on what is the worst case scenario um and it was not nice i couldn't celebrate um uh, even now i'm still struggling to celebrate a bit but i'm i'm loving it because i really love my room but if there's one thing that god has been doing in the past few days it's just confirming to me that muscle i got you because the problem about overthinking and anxiety is that you constantly stressed about the next move. You are constantly thinking of, okay, what's going to happen next? And the the worst part about it is that you're thinking of the worst case scenario. You never think of the good case scenario. And God just keep on reminding me that, you know, I'm myself, I can't. And he did that in so in so many levels like i said in my last video i got this job before I even got my results right um, and they're waiting for my results for before they give me the offer right i got my results i passed and i passed the module which i've been struggling with for the longest time so i finally passed finally got the job and it's it's, it's a big job for a first timer, it's really a big job. <laughs> like God was just showing off, and as He was showing off, my mind kept on thinking, "Okay, this is just too good to be true. Can't be me. This can't be. They're probably gonna decide not to give me the offer towards the end of." before they gave me the offer, right? Because they took time for the giving the offer. Then I got the offer. After getting the offer, I kept on thinking, okay, I probably did not place accept. I made a mistake by placing burn accept. Oh my gosh, I lost the job. Shop. After the HR confirmed to me, they said, girl, they have accepted everything as well. Then I kept on thinking, Oh no, I didn't enter my second name. What's gonna happen? They're gonna take the job because of that. So, after worrying about something, and after getting that something being done, I kept on worrying even more. 
And I remember having the conversation with my boyfriend about this because he's someone that is very chill. Like he's somebody where he could be in a very crazy moment of his life, but it'll be he'll be so much at peace because he understands that God got him. That even if that thing doesn't happen the way it's supposed to, but whatever it is, and it's the purpose of God in his life. And God was just showing me that because I remember telling him that if, you know it's easier to say that when you have seen it. Like to be honest with you, it's so much easier to have faith when you've seen God work. And I think I'm at a season where God has showed me that I work. Um, stop stressing, stop worrying because everything that I was stressing about, and I think I was stressing about is my apartment. I was like, okay, it's gonna be, is it too small? Because I came to view, right? But they didn't, I didn't view the room that I'm at right now. And my mind kept on thinking, is it too small? Um, before I came here, I was like, okay, will my bed fit? How, like, I kept on stressing about, would I get a table? Would I get grocery? Will I have electricity? And if I tell you I have a table now, I have a I have a chair, I have abundance amount of groceries. The room is way, 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 way better than the one I saw. The view is incredible. I kept on stressing about okay, will the lighting be good enough? I was even like go because I'm one person that when I stress about something, I want to find a solution. Fast, right? And God is just saying that is not your fight, that is mine because I kept on looking for a rain light and I'm, I'm probably sure God was looking at me like I'm crazy because I was looking at prices and like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be expensive rain light. I'm going, oh, I get here, the light is perfect, the view is perfect, I have everything. Yesterday I was stressing before I came, before I started my job, I was stressing about um electric wi-fi when I mean, um there's no electricity so my wi-fi doesn't work when it's low shading and the way this wi-fi is set up i may not it's not a one way i can get a ups i don't want to start something but i want to ask more questions right so with that i was just like will i be able to work from home if it's like that and i kept on stressing upon like Okay, but I worked like I kept on thinking of all those things. When I get to the office today, did they not give me a SIM card? Okay, no, usually somebody confirmed to me that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a SIM card. I'm like, okay, shop. I'm gonna get a SIM card with limited data. Doesn't matter, this is just for like two hours when there's no low shading, when it's low shading, so it doesn't matter if it's limited, right? So it's like, okay. Now I need to get a modem. I'm like, yo, do I have money to buy a modem? I kept on stressing about that. Do I have money to buy a modem? Do I need to buy a power bank for it? Should I get it bigger and go home, take the wife, uh, the router, not modem, oh, the router. Take the router at home, buy UPS. Do I have money for it? Like, I kept on stressing about that. When I got there and I got my laptop, my laptop insists the the what is this the sim card on the laptop so you do not need a router and God just like myself relax and I, I I'm finally at that point where I'm understanding that God got me and I just need to relax um so yeah i wanted to share that part with you so because i went through failure um my bridging course which is the bcta for those who know it's like a one-year degree course was supposed to be one year i did it in three years kept on failing so i've learned to prepare myself for the worst case scenario hence i overthink and anxiety and try to solve things before it gets to that worst case scenario but if there's one thing god is saying to me that all of those moments were leading you here because all of those moments i could have gotten my degree in the first attempt 
and stay two years at home without a job. But no, God had to make sure that I go through different phases and meet different people because I had different experiences when I was still when I was still at home, when I was still working like small jobs here and there. I met different people who groomed me as a person, who grew my personality, which led me to this point where I got a job before I obtained my degree. And that for me is incredible. So if you're somebody, guess not motivation, I was just sharing you guys my story and hopefully you you take it somewhere. So yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my new life where God is just showing grace, blessings, and mercy. And we're here for that. We are here for that. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is probably the longest vlog I'll ever do. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed because I did take an effort for this. I really did, like a lot of effort. Hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe.